This is the My Excel Online podcast, episode number 17. Welcome to the My Excel Online podcast, the need to know Excel insights, knowledge, and tips brought to you by the experts that know them best. Are you ready to explore your full potential and get better at Excel? It's time to stand out from the crowd with your host, John Mikaloudis. Welcome, guys and girls, to this special episode. Today, I'm going to talk about Excel webinars and why they are a great way to learn Excel and also how you can get access to all the MyExcelOnline.com webinars that we have. Now, before I start, I'm going to just let you know that I'm in my new studio. I just bought a one apartment studio. It's only 16 meters squared and it just has a desk and a couch so I can have my siestas and a whiteboard and all my tools so I can record all these podcasts and also all my new Excel courses that I'm going to bring out this year and next year and down the track. So I'm going to put a picture on the show notes so you can have a look at this um, new office. But at the moment... I don't have a chair, so I'm standing up. I'm waiting for a chair to be delivered. It's taken over two weeks. Um, so um, I'm just standing up for this podcast, which is a new way of doing podcast shows. All right. So I'm in my new office. I'm excited, and I'm going to talk about Excel webinars. Now, first of all, why Excel webinars? Well, 99% of Excel webinars are free. They are free. You don't have to pay anything. You just got to register for them and then you get access straight away. So it's, it's a great way to learn Excel without paying for any, any fees or any, any monthly fees. And the other reason why is because they're fairly short. Most Excel online courses are over three hours. They can go up to 10 hours. So they're a bit longer. But the webinars are short. They're usually within a one hour to two hour time frame. And, you know, you can learn a lot of stuff within that small space. And it's also great for you to learn these Excel features during your lunchtime. So, you know, you've got a, a one hour break. You can learn something while you're having lunch and, you know, you're on your desk. So no one can tell you off or see that you're not doing anything productive. Now, another great thing is that you can ask questions. Now, these webinars have a chat box and you can put in your questions and if you don't understand anything, you will get an answer. Now, these webinars, most of these webinars are pre-recorded. So what I do is I go in and when the webinars are on, I man the webinar and I can respond to your questions. Now, sometimes we get a lot of questions and if I'm not available, I get an email Every question that you put in there, in the chat box, I get an email and I respond within 24 hours and you get an answer straight away. So it's a great way if you don't understand something, put in your question and then I get back to you personally with an answer. Now, the format of these webinars, as I said before, they are usually short, between 45 minutes and 90 minutes. And what you do is when you sign up, you get a free workbook that you can download. So this workbook is in a start mode and it's the workbook that we go through in the webinar. So you can download it, have a look at it. And before the webinar starts, you can have a look at the content that we're going to go through. Now you can follow along during the webinar or you can just sit back, have a look at the webinar and then you get a webinar replay after the webinar is over and you can go through the workbook. You also get the finished version of the workbook If you can't follow along, then you get the start version, you get the finished version, and you also get the webinar replay. And then that way, you're going to learn all the features that we go through. Another thing is that you get a bonus cheat sheet for when you sign up. So every webinar that you sign up with us, you get a cheat sheet. So that's a great way to to save it on your desktop and refer back to it whenever you need to find an answer. To get access to our webinars, all you got to do is type in mikesonline.com forward slash webinars. That's the URL and that will take you to our free webinars. At the moment, at the time of recording, which is in September 2017, we have two webinars. One is on pivot tables and the other one is on power query and data cleansing. Now in the future, we're going to bring out more webinars 
we're working on a formulas webinar and also a power query webinar. And there's also a VBA webinar. So look out for these webinars in the future and click back on the webinar link so you can have a look what's available. Now, first of all, let's talk about the Pivot Table webinar. This is a great webinar. It's been viewed by more than 14,000 people. It's been running for the last two years. It's one of the best webinars out there. Not because I said so, it's because the feedback that we get from people. And I'm going to go through that feedback later on. Before we do that, let's go through the topics that we cover in this Pivot Table webinar. Now, this webinar is 60 minutes long, and what I'll go through are pivot tables. So if you're a beginner or intermediate user, even if you're an advanced user, I start off slow and then I go into the more advanced stuff. So it's for everyone. First of all, we go through how to insert a pivot table and then format the pivot table. Then we'll go through certain values by calculations and also values as calculations. Now, these relate to a running total in or year to date and also a variance report. So, you know, we show how to do that within this section. Then we'll go on to grouping. You can actually group your pivot table data and that's a great, great feature and not a lot of people know how to do that and I'll show you how to do that. You can group by values, you can group by dates and you can group by text and I'll show you that. Then we go on to the magical slices. Now slices are great, they are new in Excel 2010 and I'll show you how to insert a slicer and also how to also insert a pivot chart. The final thing that we go through are pivot table dashboards. Now these are awesome and I'll show you how to easily create two pivot tables, and then insert a slicer, connect those slices, which is which is super, super awesome. And then with two different slices, you can interactively change your pivot charts and your dashboard. So I show you that and it's, it's an amazing tip and people fall out of the chair during that section. And then we finish up with my best five Excel pivot table tips. So that's what you get. It's all in 60 minutes. And this is what people had to say about this webinar. Now, Chris says, I was so scared of pivot tables, but wow, this webinar has just floored me with what can be done. Mike says, the way John explains this stuff makes so easier and fun to learn. And now I can handle pivot tables more confidently. Katie says, this is great. I can't wait to simplify some of the tasks in my work for my boss. Steve says, this is going to change my life. Roberto says, thanks, John. You've changed the way I use Excel forever. And Kirstie says, flippin' awesome. <laughs> this is just six of the hundreds of comments that I receive on a daily basis. Now, these pivot tables are available on a daily basis. I have three separate slots. And the time zones that you can choose uh, based on your local time zone. So if it says 10 a.m. in the morning, then it's 10 a.m. your local time, wherever you are based. So that's a great thing. You, you can access it in your local time and you don't have to stay up in the morning to access a live webinar. That's another great feature. So that is the Pivot Table webinar. To join this, go on to mikesellonline.com forward slash webinars, click on the Pivot Table webinar, register for free, and you can start learning straight away. Now, the second webinar that we have is on Power Query and Data Cleansing. And this is a great webinar. I teamed up with Oz Dussolet, who is an Excel MVP, and him and I partner in this webinar to show you the different Power Query and Data Cleansing features within Excel. Now, Power Query is new in Excel 2010, and you can download it as an add-in and also in 2013. Now, if you have Excel 2016, then it is already part of your ribbon and it is not called Power Query. It is actually called Get and Transform. You can go in the data tab in your ribbon and you can see there Get and Transform. Power Query, Get and Transform, 100% the same thing, well, 99.9%. The only difference is the name change. In 2010, 2013, it was Power Query. In 2016, Microsoft decided to change it to Get and Transform just to confuse us, but that's the way it is. If you have Excel for Mac, unfortunately, it's not available for you at the time of this recording, but hopefully in the next couple of years, they're going to bring that out to you. So just hang in there or go on and install Excel for Windows. Now, the things that Oz 
is going to go through. And Oz is a great teacher and he is really an extrovert type and, he, and, just, and very passionate and very knowledgeable about Power Query. Now, what he's going to show you are data models. So in data models, you can analyze multiple data sets as if they were a single data set. So goodbye to VLOOKUP. You can actually do a VLOOKUP without formulas and using the data model, and Oz explains that. Then he goes on to parsing text. Now, this is the way to split data apart when the name, age, and email addresses are all in the same cell. So parsing text, this is a great feature. Then he goes on to inner join. Now, this is a way to compare lists to extract entries that appear on both lists. Then he goes on to unpivot. Now, unpivot is great before you had to do a lot of formulas to unpivot, but now with Power Query or Get and Transform, you can easily convert a report into raw data that you can use straight away for analysis. And it's just a couple of clicks and Oz shows you that. Finally, he goes on to consolidating multiple worksheets and folders. Now this is a big thing and it's gonna save you lots of time. And then I go on to Flash Fill. Now, Flash Fill is new in Excel 2013, and what it does is it extracts and transforms and manipulates your data. So if you have one column of data in the second column, you can actually type in of how you want that data to look like, and bang, it fills all the way down the column. So it's, it's a super, super feature. It's available in Excel 2013, 2016, and I go through that. So now this webinar goes on for about 90 minutes and you also get a bonus cheat sheet when you sign up and that cheat sheet includes details of how to install Power Query in Excel 2010 and 2013. So if you don't have that, we show you how to do that in this quick PDF file. Now we received hundreds of comments and these are the best out of all of them. Now Kathy says, oh my God, thanks for making my life so easy with this webinar. Thanks for sharing your knowledge with everyone. Craig says, that was great. Thank you. Been a while since I feel I learned something new in Excel. This was incredible. Nicholas said, this is way better than VLOOKUP. Maggie says, thank you so much. The webinar opened a whole new world for me. Stephen said, great course, guys. It will save me hours. And Suzanne said, if only I knew this last month, I would have been the hero in my office. Now, once again, to sign up for this webinar, go to mikesonline.com forward slash webinars and you can choose the Power Query and Data Cleansing webinar and sign up. They're available three times a day in your local time and the best thing, they're all free. Now, I'm also going to be working on a formulas webinar and that should be out sometime this year. So look out for that. And also next year, I'm going to be working on a Power Query webinar. And we're also going to add a VBA webinar. So always check back on the link, mikesonline.com forward slash webinars to see the webinars that are available to you so you can learn straight away. And another thing is, you know, if you don't, um, if you're an expert in Pivot Table and Power Query, that's okay. And you don't want to do these webinars. You can actually send it to someone that is not uh, an expert, is a beginner pivot tables of Power Query, send a link to them because I'm sure that they're going to get a lot of benefit within that one hour of learning these great features and they're going to be indebted to you forever. So thank you for listening to this podcast. You can get the links to this podcast by going on to mikesonline.com forward slash podcast. And if you have any questions about this, you can always send me an email at john at mikesellonline.com. All right, guys and girls, thank you very much for listening. And hopefully next time I'm going to have my chair so I can sit down and record the new podcast that I'm going to bring out for you in the coming months and keep on excelling. Hey, guys, I hope you enjoyed this podcast show. Thank you for listening. Now, I need your help. I need you to please leave an honest review for the Mike's Online podcast on iTunes. 
Now, ratings and reviews are extremely helpful and greatly appreciated, and I read each and every one of them. So if you go onto iTunes and search for the Mike's Online Podcast, you can leave a review and also subscribe so you can receive all the new episodes as soon as they come out. Also, if you go over to my blog at mikesonline.com slash blog, you can subscribe to receive weekly Excel lessons for free. Now, these are going to be delivered to your inbox each and every Friday, containing a lesson on formulas, pivot tables, charts, and analysis. By signing up, you also get a copy of my free Excel ebook called The Ultimate Excel Resource Guide. Now, in this ebook, I show you and review the best Excel blogs, the best Excel YouTube channels, the must-have Excel forums for you to succeed. I handpick and review the best Excel online courses. I show you the various Excel books that are available. And I also explain the different time-saving add-ins that you must have in order to get the full potential out of Excel. Plus, I have much more information. Now, this ebook is jam-packed full of value and it's free if you sign up to my weekly Excel lessons. So go over onto my Excel blog and subscribe to receive your free ebook and also get your awesome weekly lessons. All right, until the next episode, keep excelling. We hope you enjoyed this episode of the My Excel Online Podcast. Be sure to subscribe and share this with your colleagues so they can reach their full Excel potential. You can also visit myexcelonline.com slash podcast for show notes as well as John's online Excel courses and free tutorials to help you stand out from the crowd. Until next time, keep excelling.